so, so one thing I really like about what you explained to me was, so you see patients as a whole and then identify the risk factors for the particular patient. That's right. So that's what we do as a gastroenterologist in US where we risk stratify for colon cancer. And I'm glad that you have included that in the profile. Um, I just wanted to explain a little bit about colon cancer in my audience. Um, so we do colonoscopies on a daily basis. So we do close to 20 colonoscopies per day. And people should understand that in US, it comes as a part of the insurance package mm. where insurance says, okay, when you turn 50 or 45 based on insurance, we will cover you and you get this done. And you will not be, uh, you'll be surprised that one in four of the people that I scope, I see precancerous growth inside the colon. Mm. What does mean by that is if I leave that alone, there's a 25% chance that it can grow into cancer in 10 years. So if I go in and then I remove the polyp, the risk is completely gone. Okay. And uh, is colonoscopy the only way to detect? No. There are other options as well. One thing I really like about your uh, profile is you also have a stool testing, correct? Yes. And also virtual colonography. Yes. Can you explain to my audience? I think this is something new that I wanted to tap into. Yes. So colon cancers is actually one of the top five cancers in India. Mm -hmm. And uh, a colonoscopy allows us to actually go in via the rectum and okay. be able to see what's going on mm -hmm. in the colon, which is the bottom part of your digestive tract. Um, what happens um, is that we tend to do less of it again because the choice of doing it is in the hands of the individual, the consumer. And it's obviously a little bit of a discomfort. Um, of course. <laughs> yeah? We don't like to do something that's uncomfortable unless we absolutely have to. Therefore, fewer people choose to, even if it's part of the package. They say, no, I don't really yes. want to do yes. this because it's uncomfortable. Do I really need it? Now, remember what I just said, if it's progressed to a symptom, mm. so you see blood in the stools, right? Um, or you have extreme gastric issues of some sort. Remember by then we are seeing symptoms and it may be a tad too late. Our goal is to actually do this much earlier. And that means you may have to subject yourself to a very short period of discomfort in order to pick things up early and be able to be free mm. of some of the, uh, you know, problems that can arise later, mm. which is cancers. Correct. The same is also true of uh, pap smears and mammograms uh, for women. Uncomfortable procedures. I'm sure all the men and women will agree with me that colonoscopies, pap smears, mammograms are things we want to avoid. In, and, uh, and, but that's not a good enough reason. Put up with the 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 5 minutes, whatever it is. For your long term. For your long term mm -hmm. health. Um, it is important and it will save all of us, especially your families, the trouble of finding out these things much later, right? And needing to then go through extensive treatments. Correct. So in my experience, what I've seen is if they fit into that metabolic syndrome mm. where they have diabetes, obesity, or the waist to hip ratio that we talked about, the risk is slightly higher, especially if you have family history. Yes. In our Indian audience, we don't know about family history that much at all. Yes. Uh, either they don't reveal it or they were the cause of death is usually unknown. Yes. Um, and then the third one is smoking alcohol and uh, of course, you know, your dietary habit, lack of fiber, lack of physical activity, mm -hmm. same thing. So what I tell my Indian patients is that, uh, hey, you know, if you meet any of these criteria, uh, you, if you're really scared to do a colonoscopy, at least do a stool testing mm. uh, or, you know, virtual colonography yes. like what you're offering. Um, maybe around the age of between 50 to 60. Yes. And then start getting things done. And That's which is one thing that you, this, I really like about this pro health thing.